Howdy. Okay, I just walked in, well, a few minutes ago, walked in, got home from work, and I'm poking around on some websites that I go to. I ran across this video here. It says, the Army is training to engage Tea Party. Obama is issuing, Obama is issuing orders to the military to prepare to attack, imprison, and kill American citizens for speaking out against his takeover of America while planning to sign off America using the already discredited global warming scam cap and trade which doesn't hold water with any real earth scientist he and his scam artists won't even bother to debate about the army is training to engage Tea Party blah 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 at the Alex Jones channel April 30th 2010 spread this video far and wide Alex Jones exposes breaking news that the army is training to engage Tea Party members, local militias, and people who are upset at the government. This is one more step in the total military-industrial complex takeover of America. Spread this video far and wide. To get for more information, get a high-quality DVD from Police State 4. I'll post a link later when I get through. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on earth, and it's only getting worse. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Veteran documentary filmmaker Alex Jones conclusively, conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps, well we already know about those, now being expanded nationwide. The military industrial complex is trans transforming our once free nation into a giant prison camp. The cashless society control grid constructed is constructed in the name of fighting terrorism. It was actually built to enslave the American people. Body scanners, sound cannons, citizen spies, staged terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the new world order orders hellish plan. This film exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful all shadow state prepared to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship, FEMA camps, and a shredded constitution. Hmm. Witness police and military, military savagely attacking innocent citizens as our own government unleashes false flag operations to justify its oppression and watches Alex Jones takes on corrupt mercenary police and exposes mainstream media brainwashing. The police state isn't coming, it's here. The real economy is not recovering in the slightest. New link. Close that also. It's a press statement. The president himself crowd at the news, noting that the official employment rate fell to 9.7% from 9.9. Oh, yippee. However, only 41,000 of those jobs were generated in the private sector, far below the median forecast of 180,000. Even more troubling was the fact that the Census Bureau alone accounted for 411,000 new jobs, which were almost exclusively temporary positions. Seems Mr. Obama lies to the American people about the economy. He is more than willing to take credit for it. But when the reality but when the reality of his spending Obama has spent more than forty three spent more than forty three presidents behind him combined. It seems uh blah blah what is spending it seems behind fuck, excuse me seems when Mr. Obama lies to the American people about the economy, he is more than willing to take credit for it, but when the reality of his spending is seen behind his deceptions, he always has a handy skate goal to point at. The reality is, and continues to be, this is Obama's economy, and he appears to be purposely imploding it. Imploding it. I do believe the writer meant provide links. Yes, kitty. What a bunch of horse shit. Uh, um, I don't know, not this, but, but uh, you know, Constitution is 
is above the Supreme Court. It's 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 above the president. The president has no say as to whether the Constitution is real or at all valid. It is valid. It's why we left England. In England, they may not be slaves, but they're still not free. They're subject to the queen. That's why we left. We're free. We don't need a dictator. Come November, vote him out. <laughs>